I'd been on my own since I was about 12. I didn't even really think I was going to be alive to, you know, to be 17. I, I didn't think that I would ever make it that far. Um, She was just trying to survive. She even had said to me at one point, I haven't really started living yet. I'm just, I'm just trying to, to get there. Where I come from, there's, there's a lot of hate. You kind of feel like there is a black hole in your body and that you just don't really mean anything. I like walked into the courtroom and I saw my dad there with his lawyer and it was just me like alone in this chair and I had like this speech that I had written to the judge and she was like I've never seen more evidence in my life for an emancipation case like I'm signing this document that is what had been her chains and her blockade for so many years and to see that this young mind this young spirit was able to break free from that and, and again say, you're wrong. I actually would do this thing um, when I was homeless called, I would call it paper towel coffee. Basically I would find cups out of the trash um, and I had folders like instant coffee and um, like I would get like hot water from Starbucks and I would take my hair tie and like tie the paper towel to the cup and do like a little pour over thing. So I'd always like drank coffee, but after I started learning about like people dedicate their lives to making coffee, like coffee, coffee's even changing my life. I just started really getting interested in like having a career, having to do with coffee and like helping people. Going through the Fair Start program is really cool. Part of it is at the Orion Center and part of it is um, at the uh, 2100 Cafe in Rainier Valley. For like the first couple of weeks, you learn how to write your resume, you make a professional email, um, there's even some like mock interviews. And so you get to practice that while learning how to make lattes and steaming milk. And I think you really learn a lot about yourself too. I think it's such a beautiful program that really does aim to take these people that don't have hope, that don't have anybody or any support, and really put them in place where they can be productive and they can be a, a prideful member of society. And once you've put in that hard work and you've come across the other side and you're standing at the graduation podium and you have that sense of accomplishment that you never thought possible for yourself, it opens up so many doors of what else can you do. You know, they really make you feel like you're so much more than maybe like you think you are and I feel like I can I can do this and I can go to college and it was really surreal. I was like, wow, like wow, like you know, what what a like miracle, you know, like Fair Start really is a miracle. She started living once she began her program at Fair Start. That was a breath of life for her. It's incredibly heartbreaking to hear their stories and know the lives that a lot of them are living. But on the other hand, when you see them come into a program, see them thrive, see the growth that they have, even given the tough, tough circumstances that they're living in is incredibly inspirational and motivating. She's a mover shaker, for sure. <laughs> I think that with her big heart and her honest want to help other people, I think that's going to be a beautiful ripple for her. It's so important that we have folks in our programs that our young people can relate to. It just oozes from her, that passion and commitment she has to wanting to help others. All that it really takes is somebody believing in them, somebody helping them nurture their hope to know that they're not alone and that they are possibilities too. At the beginning of the program, you write a letter to yourself talking about where you want to be at the end of the program. I didn't believe it, but I, I had accomplished everything on this piece of paper. To look at somebody who was 16 years old, to get a job at Starbucks, um, to finish her high school, get into college, um, become emancipated, like just to watch her along that path has been remarkable. I had never felt that before, so it was really weird. I remember like walking around, and I was like, why do I feel good? I was like, <laughs> 
I had found a family, I had found a community, and I found a reason worth living for, and um, I was a whole new person. Nicole grew up in an environment thick with naysayers and shamers and you know, screaming at her, you're not good enough, no you can't. There was a moment in her where she stood up and said, you're wrong, I can. And she knew that in her heart, but she didn't know how to actually work that magic. So had she not had the hope of Fair Start and the mentorship and the people that are put in her life at the right time to be instigative, to help renew her self-worth, that I don't know if we would still have no goal. If I can help somebody else, that means everything to me because I, I want them to know that, um, oh man, <laughs> that they can do anything that they put their mind to. A lot of people don't make it out and so I just, I want to help as many people as I can make it out because everyone deserves better than that. <laughs>